Hello everybody and welcome to Pixly, the Blockly Media Computation application. The purpose of this application is to create a visual drag and drop programming environment as a tool for early learners to learn and practice media computation, specifically image manipulation through pixel manipulation. For instance, let's say we wanted to get rid of the red eye on the baby in this picture. We can do so using Pixly's power of pixel manipulation. Let's first select the block under the Media Computation tab that will loop through every pixel on the canvas. It does so first by going through every X position of the canvas, 0 to 399, the canvas is 400 pixels wide, and concurrently going through every Y position of the canvas, also 0 to 399. Since we're trying to get rid of the red eye in the picture, we could then tell Pixly to simply change the red value of every pixel on the canvas to 0. Each pixel has a red, green, and blue value that ranges from 0 to 255. Notice that in the second block, change red value of P to 0, the P it is talking about is the P created in the previous block, which is the pixel on the canvas at the specified X and Y coordinates. Pressing Run Program will cause Pixly to read the instructions specified by the blocks, and voila, now the baby no longer has red eyes. However, the rest of the picture is a bit blue looking, so let's modify our block sequence a little bit to make it a bit more accurate. Firstly, let's think about what we want to do. We want to remove the red from the eyes. The red level here is at a higher intensity than the rest of the picture. We created a block that reports the color intensity level of a pixel. Go ahead and pull the red intensity of pixel P block from the pixels tab, and we'll use other blocks from the logic tab to make it so we'll only set the red of the pixel to zero if it's greater than a certain intensity. We'll do this with the if then do wrapping block from the logic tab, the comparison block from the logic tab, which we'll use to compare the red intensity of the pixel in a number, and the number block from the math tab, which we'll set to 2. This, in effect, results in a block algorithm which will go through every pixel, check the red intensity of that pixel, and if it is greater than a certain number, in this case 2, it will get rid of the redness from that pixel. Pressing Run Program should yield a normal looking baby without red eyes. The algorithm we used is a little simple, so it also changes the red shirt to blue, but it's more along the lines of what we want. Now let's look at another example of media computation that's quite common, green screening. In this example, we'll use this image of a dog against a green background and try to move only the dog to the third canvas, a lovely beach scene. To start things off, we've already used the same basic loop structure as the previous example. The only difference is that we changed the canvas that we're selecting the pixels from, from canvas 0 to 1, since the dog is on the canvas 1. Next, let's drag the block from the pixels tab that starts with change pixel at x, y. We can use this block to copy a pixel from one canvas to another. Since we want to be copying the pixels from the dog canvas to the beach canvas, let's specify that the canvas that we want to copy to is canvas 3, which is the one with the beach on it. After changing that, all we have to do is drag the p variable block from the variables tab into the change pixel block. Altogether, this will make Pixly read through every single pixel from canvas 1 and copy each one of those pixels to the same x and y location on canvas 3, resulting in a complete copy of the dog image. However, we don't want to copy the entire image. The whole point of green screening is to copy a portion of the image that isn't green onto a new background. We can approach this problem in a similar way as we did for the previous problem. For the red eye removal, we only wanted to get rid of the redness of a pixel if it was of a certain intensity of redness. In this green screen example, we want to copy a pixel from one canvas onto another, but only if it is below a certain intensity of greenness. Using the same blocks that we used to achieve the red eye removal, we can construct a block sequence that tells Pixly to loop through every pixel from canvas 1, and, if it has a green intensity less than 2, copy that pixel onto the same x and y location of canvas 3. Pressing Run Program will tell Pixly to carry out the instructions your blocks tell it to do, and we should end up with a dog enjoying a lovely day at the beach. These have been just a couple of examples of the things that can be accomplished with the media computational powers of Pixly, but they are certainly not all that can be accomplished. Pixly allows for the instruction of programmatic image manipulation without any of the syntactical concerns that may arise from traditional typed programming, and will hopefully be a powerful tool for exposing early learners to computational thinking. We hope you enjoyed the presentation!